Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The biggest problem of Indian artillery force is a lack of rockets having range between 100 to 500 kilometers. At the same time, if you look at the modern day artillery which is being operated by China or America, they use modularized pods for their multiple launch rocket system MLRS. These MLRS can fire rockets of different range and calibers. The Chinese PHL-16 MLRS can fire 500 km range short-range ballistic missiles which basically an attempt to emulate Americans M142 HIMARS. At present, India does not have any MLRS system that can fire range of rockets of different range and calibers. The indigenous Pinaka MLRS can fire Pinaka-1 ER with a range of 40 km, Pinaka MK2 having a range of 60 km, guided Pinaka having a range of 75 km and 122 mm extended range rocket with a range of 40 km. While there is no second thought that DRDO is capable enough to develop a modularized pod like HIMARS and PHL-16 for MLRS, it's up to military planners if they need such system. That's something we are yet to even decide and build. However, in interim, India needs to field short-range tactical ballistic missile as an answer to Chinese PHL-16 artillery. Unlike China, India has limited conventional ground-launched missile option. At present, if you look into India's ballistic missile arsenal, it does not have any tactical missile except for Prithvi having a range of 350 km. If Indian Army has to hit deep inside Chinese territory, it has to use BrahMos, which is pinpoint accurate but quite an expensive option. Further, BrahMos can carry only 200 kgs of warhead. Some of India's other ballistic missiles such as Agni series of missiles are dual capable and their deployment or use can escalate the crisis through the potential for nuclear miscalculation and escalations. Therefore, these missiles cannot come under the rocket force of India but to remain under the strategic forces command. Prale could stand out as India's only conventional ballistic missile potentially under the field army control. It has been officially confirmed that Prale would not be armed with a conventional warhead. Therefore, once Prale is ready and deployed, it will not lead to an unintended nuclear escalation or misinterpretation. Now talking about the progress and development of Prale, it became more evident from the last year trials by DRDO, which has conducted two trials one on 22nd December 2021 and the other one on 23rd December. This was the first time two consecutive flight tests of a ballistic missile has been conducted successfully on two consecutive days. During the first trial, the new missile followed the desired quasi-ballistic trajectory and reached the designated target with a high degree of accuracy. The quasi-ballistic trajectory of Prale makes its detection extremely difficult. In its second launch, on 23rd December, the missile was tested for heavier payload and different ranges to prove the precision and its lethality. As per reports, Prale missile would need at least two more tests before it can be operationalized and will completely replace Prithvi series of missiles. At present, five Prale missile is under fabrication and it is expected to be delivered in next six months. The five missiles are possibly being fabricated for the user trial post which it will be ready for induction and production. Prale is going to be a canisterized tactical surface to surface and short range ballistic missile. The missile is the amalgamation of technologies developed for exo-atmospheric interceptor missile Prithvi Defense Vehicle PDV and Prahar tactical missile. It uses a new generation of composite propellant that HEMRL started working on during the development phase of Sagrika from K series of missile family. The solid fuel is highly efficient and can provide more energy when compared to the fuel used in Agni series of missiles. This has enabled to reduce the overall size of the missile without compromising their operational range. Prala is also going to be superior than that of a traditional ballistic missile as it does not follow a complete ballistic trajectory and therefore difficult to detect when it is launched. The JVC or Jet Vein Control System recently observed during the launch provides the Prale ability to deviate from typical ballistic or parabolic path and maneuver during ascent of the missile by deflecting rocket exhaust vanes. This is why it is called Quasi-Ballistic Missile 2. 
The JVC is only available at the initial phase that is in boost mode when missile is ascending into the atmosphere. Pralay is much needed replacement for Prithvi as the later was liquid fuel based whose maintenance is also very difficult. Pralay can have a payload of 350 kg to up to 700 kg high explosive performed fragments of warhead penetration come blast PCB and runway denial penetration sub munition RDPS at a range of 150 km to 500 km. During wartime, it can be used to target radar, communication installations, command and control centers, and advanced airfields. Upon induction, Trelle missile will become part of regiment of artillery. As for the latest update, the missile is just two more tests away from being cleared for production. Once inducted into armed forces, it will complement Pinaka at longer range to provide credible deterrence against the PLS rocket force. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.